in this video i will make this simple drawing and we will make this in drawing in three different parts in the first part we will create this portion of the 3d model and then we'll move on to create this portion and in the end we'll create this portion so let's start with the first one so from draw panel select the rectangle tool and anywhere in the drawing area click and then type add on command line and enter length i'm using a length of 72 units and then comma a height of 120 units and then press enter here we have the rectangle now now go to the circle tool and click at this midpoint and make a circle with a diameter of 25 units so type d press enter 25 and press enter again press enter again to repeat the circle command and click at the same center point and this time make a circle with radius 36 units so let's type 36 and press enter now we need to make one more circle here and that will be of radius 30 units so let's press enter again go to the same center and enter 30 and press enter so now we need to clean some part of this geometry for that i'll use this trim tool select the trim tool and press enter now click at this outermost circle and also make sure that this complete line is erased so i'll erase it completely in this way and now we can make a copy of this so i'll exit the trim tool and i'll select both of these circles and also this small arc now expand this modify panel select the mirror tool and click at this midpoint and once again click at this point and press enter and here we have the mirror image here also we need to clean the geometry so i'll select the trim tool press enter and now click at all of these lines Now we can convert this geometry into a 3D. For that, go to the view cube and click on this home icon. This will take you to the southwest isometric view. And now go to the press pull tool from modeling panel and click inside these two concentric circles and enter a height of 36 units. Go to the second concentric circle and enter the same height of 36 units and then click inside this geometry and enter a height of 30 units and press enter now press enter again to exit the command in order to see this geometry clearly change the visual style to shaded from this view panel so click on this drop down and change it to shaded you can change it to any other visual style as well if you prefer but i'll keep it at shaded now select the front view from this view cube and from this coordinates panel expand the flyout and change it to view this step is very important and you need to ensure that you change the current UCS to this view option. So once you have changed your UCS, move back to the drawing area and select the circle tool again. Now this time we'll make another geometry at certain distance from the original 3D object. So I'll click anywhere at this point and now I'll make another circle with diameter of 75 units. So type D, press enter then 75 and enter again now press enter again to repeat the circle tool and select the same center and this time we will make a circle with diameter of 115 units so type d enter and 115 and press enter again so let's zoom out to fit this one in our drawing area and now let's go to the polyline tool so select it and click at this quadrant so right now you can see that the quadrant point is active in my drawing but if it is not active in your drawing you can go to the status bar and this object snap option and from this menu select the quadrant tool so make sure this quadrant is active now return back to the drawing area and select the quadrant now make a line in this direction with a length of 172 units and press enter now point your cursor towards right side and make it off length 57.5 units and press enter now move it upwards and enter a length of 6 units press enter again now move it towards right and enter a length of 39 units move it upwards again and enter a length of 30 units press enter 
move it towards left and enter a length of 66.5 units and press enter now move it upwards but don't click at any point and zoom into this area then move to this quadrant and track it towards left side and click at a point and then join it with this quadrant point and then press enter so here we have this 2d geometry and now we need to add small fillets to these two sharp corners for that i'll select this fillet tool from the modify panel and go to the radius and enter a radius of five units now select multiple option to repeat the fillet tool and click at this line and at this line now you can see that we still have fillet command active so click at this line and this line again and press enter to exit this command so now our 2d geometry is almost prepared we can convert it into a 3d for that i'll go to this home icon and let's move it upwards and select the press pull tool click inside this geometry and enter a distance of 110 units now once again click inside this concentric circle portion and enter a distance of 120 units and press enter press enter again to exit the command and select this cylindrical portion now you'll see this gizmo on the 3d object and if the gizmo is not visible go to the selection panel and select the move gizmo now click on this green axis move it towards left and enter a distance of five units and press enter again just to align it centrally now we need to join this geometry with the original 3d object so for joining it i'll select both of these geometries and then select the move tool zoom into this area and make sure that you select the midpoint of this top line so for clarity let's change it to parallel view and let's orbit our drawing as well so now you can see it clearly so here we have this midpoint select it zoom out and you can orbit the drawing as well if you want let's orbit this one again and place it on the midpoint of this line so here we have the midpoint visible so let's click here and here we have it the geometry is placed properly here so now we can add the third portion to our drawing so in order to add the third part of this 3d model select the top view from the view cube again and rotate this drawing a little bit so once again we'll make the 2d geometry first so go to the circle tool click at any point and make a circle with diameter of 45 units so let's type d then enter 45 and enter again press enter again to repeat the command and go to the same center press d again for diameter and enter a diameter of 75 units and press enter again now go to the line tool and select the center point of this circle so i'll select the center and then make a line with a length equal to 110 units and press enter now move it towards this direction or the upward direction and enter a length of 97 units and press enter again now press enter again to exit the command and now select the circle tool click at this point the end point of line and type d for diameter and enter a diameter of 115 units and press enter again now go to the line tool again and click at this quadrant point and make a line with length 172 units now we need to join this line tangentially on this circle for that press and hold shift key then right click and select tangent from the contextual menu now move it on the circle and you'll see this tangent snap click and then press enter now we need to join one more tangent line on both of these circles so select line tool press and hold shift key right click and then tangent and click at this circle then press and hold shift right click select tangent and click on this circle as well and here we have the tangent lines now we need to remove all the extra geometry so first we'll remove both of these lines these are no longer needed and we need to trim the circle so select the trim tool press enter and trim this portion of the circle 
in some of the situations like in this one you may not be able to trim the circles so when this kind of situation arises you can use an alternate option and that's using the break tool so go to this modify panel and expand it and select the break tool now select the geometry which you want to break so in this case we want to break the circle so select it and then go to the command line and select the first point now select this point as the first point the first intersection point here on the circle and then select this intersection point as the second point and here we have it the complete geometry so now we can convert this geometry into 3d and for converting it go to this home icon again select the press pull tool and click inside this area now we need to enter a distance of 26 units so type 26 press enter and now click inside the concentric circles here so let's click here and enter a distance of 50 units and press enter again press enter again to exit the press pull tool and now we need to align it centrally on this portion for that I'll select this geometry and this gizmo will appear select the green axis and move it towards left and enter a distance of 12 units and press enter now press escape key and here we have the geometry now we need to move it on this 3d object so in order to move it I'll select the move tool and select both of these geometries press enter now orbit your drawing and select this midpoint here so make sure that you select the midpoint on the wedge here and if it is not clear change the visual style to parallel and now here we have this midpoint select it and move it on the midpoint of this geometry here and here we have the complete 3d shape now you can see that we have some extra 2d geometries everywhere in this drawing so that will remove but before that I'll select the complete geometry and join it into a single unit so in order to join it go to solid editing and select the union tool now select entire geometry and press enter and we have it now as a single unit so select this geometry go to this move tool and move it to some other place and now select all the remaining 2d geometries from the drawing area and you can simply erase them and here we have a completely clean 3d geometry as per our own requirement